Yeah, it's the Archivist, y'all, exclusively interviewing Mr. DJ Specs. That's S to the P to the E to the X, yes. <laughs> and who is DJ Specs? Specs is a DJ that originated from Malvern and Scarborough in Toronto, in Ontario, same place right here in Canada. You know, started off with a sound called Paragon, which is my own sound. Fell in love with a sound called King Turbo, a sound that my cousin used to play on uh, from King Turbo. Just, you know, took it to the world and now just building up my own thing, but still a member of King Turbo. Look out, King Turbo 2010, it's going to be crazy taking back the whole place again. Mad. And what is one of the most rarest vinyl you have for reggae music? Uh, one of the most rarest vinyl, I would have to say, is an acapella album of Garnet Silk. You know, it's very, very hard. And for those that don't know Garnet Silk, Garnet Silk is a person that helped to bring back culture and religion back into the dance hall, praising the most high, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the acceptor of the scepter and the sword of Abyssinia. We're talking about the kings of kings and a lot of lads, you know, so... You know, he helped to bring it back, helping to break artists such as Luciano, Sizzla, Capleton, turning him back into the culture thing. So, yeah, Garnet Silk, the acapella album, it's crazy, produced by Penthouse. You won't find that anywhere, so I dare you to look for it. And achieving a master degree in the reggae scene, how has this been refining your craft as DJ Specs, the rhythm track master? Um... To define it, you know, it's still work, you know, and at the end of the day, it's still, you know, like going to school and learning the game, you know what I mean? As old and as, as long as I've been in the game, every day you still have to learn the game because with reggae music, every day there's a new talk, there's a new dance, there's a new artist, you know, there's a new slang, there's a new style, so you always have to just keep learning, you know, in this game in order to, you know, be in this game and stay in the game. And hosting a radio show in Toronto, big things that... Tell us more. I host the show. I actually started Big Up to Blue, rest in peace, my boy for years, Sean Rose Blue. I started actually doing a show on University of Toronto Radio, you know, the Side 3, which was a, a late night show, and I did the reggae, reggae segment for about 20 minutes. Then, you know, the program director saw the response that I was getting through the reggae music and gave me an opportunity to start the morning ride, you know, on 89.5. Did that for about six, seven years. And then when Flow came about, you know, the first urban station in Canada, you know, obviously they had to come and check the boy, the Rhythm Trap Master Specs from the number one sound in the world, King Turbo. Man. And dominating as a DJ, opening for Beanie Man, Beers and Hammond, Movado, and Sean Paul. <laughs> Tell us about the stadium experiences. <laughs> okay, well, it's actually Bears Hammond. Oh, and, you know, all right. I've opened up for a lot of people, Wayne Wonder, Shaba, Baby Sham, Sean Paul, T.O.K., um, Shaba Ranks, Ninja Man, Bojo Bantan. Bojo Bantan is in jail right now, but we're still, hold up your head, Bojo. You know, don't give up. You know I mean? We're here. We're still keeping your memory alive through the music. But a lot of them, and um, it feels great, you know, to, you know, work with these artists and, and, and just be in the game with these artists. Because, you know, without the artist them, there could never be me. But at the same time, without the DJ, you can't have the artist them. So, you know, it works hand in hand. And, you know, I mean, they give me opportunities. At the same time, I help to build opportunities for them. And, you know, we're here. And we'll still be here. From the basement to stadium, platinum to titanium. I told you, I'll keep them to Kennedy St. John's to BC. You know, it's me. And best reggae DJ in 2006 gaining a stylist DJ award. Tell us your momentous victory in 2007 and getting it again in 2009. We'd love to hear about this. For real, well, it's good still, but you know, as much as you know, you get achievements and trophies in this world, with achievements and trophies comes a lot of hating and backbiting and hypocrites and people that say that your friend are really are not. And so, you know, I mean, at the same time, it's a blessing, it's a cursing. It's a curse, but, you know, we give thanks to the Almighty because with everything, you know, it's a test, you know, and, you know, I mean, hopefully, you know, we pass those tests, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it's all about building relationships and, and the networks that you build along the way, you know, so big up the archivist still, you know, doing the dang thing. And tell us, being the creator of Rhythm Track World, how has this been as I am the archivist, the creator of VC Archives and VCHipHopShows.com? Your traffic and success behind your adventure. Okay, well, as far as with Rhythm Track World, it's just another extension of me. You know, it's not all the time that I could be in the dance playing or it's not all the time, you know, people could be sitting down here and talking to me in interviews. It's not all the time 
that, you know what I mean, I'm on the radio where people can hear on the radio. So Rhythm Track World is just a basic extension of me where people can get me when they can't get me. So, you know, www.rhythmtrackworld.com. I got the photos, I got the interviews, I got the specs cast, you know, I got the info, the events, you know. It's just a way for people to just find out more about me without me spilling my guts as much. And what is the biggest crowd that you have rocked? The biggest crowd that I've ever played in. Wow. Air Canada Centre in Toronto was pretty big for me. Um, I opened up about two years ago at Sting in Jamaica. That was a huge, 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 huge. How many crowd. people were we talking here? At Sting, was probably at least about, I'd say at least twenty to 30,000 people. But, um, you know, sometimes it's not about the crowds. Them. Sometimes, you know, just about the vibe and the people. Them, because some of the best parties are the smallest parties. You know, so, you know what I mean? Not everything that is big is great, you know what I mean? But, you know, as I said, no matter if it's two people, five people, 5,000, 20,000 people, as long as I can get 80% of those people to enjoy themselves and take into reggae music and into what I do, then, you know what I mean, it's a job done. Because, you know, everybody in the world is one person away from who you really want to meet. So, you know, if I can get that one person in that crowd, you know what I mean, to help me extend my life in the game and to help, me bring, help to bring me to bigger and better places, then, you know what I mean, that's, what's a, that's what it's about. And tell us about the projects that you have made and what is coming out. What's coming out? Well, I'm working on an album right now with Koch Entertainment, so look out for that. Hopefully everything works with them. Big up to E1 Entertainment. Also, I'm doing a lot of tours with a lot of the artists. Then big up to Wayne Wonder. He's here right here in BC. And we know some CDs, album compilations. I also have another artist, Trindy Chris, I'm working with in Toronto right now. So we're working on his album and getting some production done there. But, you know, anything in the music game, it doesn't even have to be just reggae music. Anything in the, in the music game right now, you know, that's what I'm about and that's what I'm going to do right now. Because it's all about, you know, leaving a legacy in this game. You know, because if you're not leaving a legacy, you're really not doing anything. So... And what is one of the best memories in the reggae industry that you've experienced so far? One of the greatest memories, there's too many to name, but um, the biggest memory right now to me would probably be the legacy I'm leaving, you know what I mean? So when I'm done, that'll be the biggest memory, but I'm not done yet, so don't be trying to remember anything yet, because I'm just starting. And you have anything else to add to our gracious interview? I just want to say to everybody out there, you know what I mean, the world is small, so deal with people accordingly, uh, you know what I mean, sometimes, you know, someone might not be the right way or not look the right way, but don't judge that person because that person could be even be God, so, you know what I mean, love God and live here to my dead, you know what I mean, do unto others as you like for them to do unto you and just, you know, live good, you know what I mean, live good, the world is very, very small, so love everybody, whether they're black, white, purple, brown, red or yellow, you know what I mean, just live good and love God. And, yeah, you'll be fine like that. And give thanks on your going out and your coming in. And keep God in everything. Pray for health, strength. And for the archivist, you know what I mean? You're doing your thing. So pray for health, strength, and creativity. And longevity. You know what I mean? And once you have them four things in place, then everything else should be a bit easier. So, and you know do you mean? have any shouts? Any shout-outs? Big up the whole of BC. Big up to the T-Dot. That's my spot, you know, where I'm from. You know, big up to Maceo, you know, look out for them. They're coming back on a different level, you know, just like King Turbo. Um, big up to the King Turbo crew and, you know, big up to everybody and anybody watching this video right now and anybody and everybody that's helped me one way or another in my, in my career, you know, because I don't have a job, I have a career. I love doing this, you know, so, you know, big up to everybody and just love God and live and give thanks to the Almighty. And the biggest shout I'm going to give is to God because without Him, we're nothing. Blue! And this is the Archivist, and you Archivist. already know the name, y'all. Archivist, and get used to this. It's the Archivist, man. Stand down, I'm going to go to the Shondi Rhythm Trap Master, the Boom Blast, the Moon Father. Because I'm going to go to the Boom Blast, the Moon 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 Blast, the Moon